Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today we're gonna take a look at the 50 highest selling 1980s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on May 19th. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1984 Fleer Daryl Strawberry Rookie with card number 599. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $27.60. Up next at number 49 is this 1989 Don Russ Baseball's Best Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 192. This was a CGC 9 and it sold for $28.80. Coming in at number 48 is this 1986 Sport Flicks Rookie's Jose Canseco Rookie, card number 11. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $28.80. Up next at number 47 is this 1984 Fleer Update John Franco, card number U39. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $28.80. We're headed to the early 1980s at number 46 with this 1981 Topps Cubs Future Stars card number 381. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $28.80. Up next at number 45 is this 1988 Don Russ Roberto Alomar rookie, card number 34. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $30 even. Coming in at number 44, is this 1989 Upper Deck Nolan Ryan, card number 669. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $31.20. The kid's back at number 43 with this 1988 Cal Card San Bernardino Ken Griffey Jr. Pre-Rookie with card number 34. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $32.40. Up next at number 42 is this 1985 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 760. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $33.60. Coming in at number 41 is this 1981 Topps Expos team card with card number 680. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $33.60. Up next at number 40 is this 1989 SCD Baseball Pocket Price Guides Gary Sheffield Pre-Rookie with card number 8. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $36 even. Coming in at number 39 is this 1986 Topps Dave Winfield card number 70. This was an SGC 10 and it sold for $37.20. Up next at number 38 is this 1989 Topps traded Nolan Ryan card number 106T. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for just short of $40. Coming in at number 37 is this 1981 Topps Allen Ripley card number 144. This was a PSA 10 
and it sold for $40.80. Up next at number 36 is this 1986 Donruss Highlights Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 43. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $48 even. Coming in at number 35 is this 1981 Topps Coca-Cola Kurt Gibson, card number 11. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $54 even. Up next at number 34 is this 1983 Topps Ryan Sandberg Rookie, card number 83. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $62.40. Coming in at number 33 is this 1982 Fleer Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 176. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $62.40. Up next at number 32 is this 1989 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 530. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $64.80. Coming in at number 31 is this 1987 Classic MLB Game Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 15. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $67.20. And we welcome a newcomer to the list to kick off the top 30 with this 1987 Topps Mark McGuire Rookie, card number 366. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $91.20. Up next at number 29 is this 1984 Topps Batting and Pitching Leaders featuring Nolan Ryan and Jose Cruz with card number 66. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $98.40. Coming in at number 28 is this 1987 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 757. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $100.80. Up next at number 27 is this 1983 Topps Traded Daryl Strawberry Rookie, card number 108T. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it also sold for just over $100. Coming in at number 26 is this 1982 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 90. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $105.60. Coming in at number 25 is this 1981 Topps Traded Dave Winfield, card number 855. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $108. Up next at number 24 is this 1989 Upper Deck Nolan Ryan, card number 145. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $120. Coming in at number 23 is this 1989 Topps Traded Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 41T. This was a PSA 10, 
and it sold for $126. Up next at number 22 is this 1980 OPG Nolan Ryan, card number 303. This was a BGS 8.5 and it also sold for $126. Coming in at number 21 is this 1982 Fleer Nolan Ryan, card number 229. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $132. And make that three straight appearances to kick off the top 20 with this 1986 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 100. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $150. Up next at number 19 is this 1989 Upper Deck Nolan Ryan, card number 774. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $156. Make that five straight appearances at number 18 with this 1981 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 240. This was a PSA 9, and it also sold for $156. Coming in at number 17 is this 1983 Topps Tony Gwynn Rookie, card number 482. This rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $168. Up next at number 16 is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Mark McGuire Rookie, card number 366. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $210. Coming in at number 15 is this 1989 Fleer Glossy Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 548. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $288. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 14, with this 1987 Fleer Glossy Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 604. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $288. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers to the list at number 13 with this 1984 Fleer Update Kirby Pocket Rookie, card number U93. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it also sold for $288. We get one of our weekly regulars at number 12 with this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number one. This star rookie was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $300. Coming in at number 11 is this 1988 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 250. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $300 even. And the kid's back to kick off the top 10 with this 1989 Bowman Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 220. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $372. Up next at number 9 is this 1984 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 470. This was a PSA 10 
and it sold for $372. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 8 with this 1980 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 580. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $372. Up next at number 7 is this 1983 Fleer Tony Gwynn Rookie card number 360. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for just over $500. Coming in at number 6 is this 1983 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 360. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $540. All right, guys, and before we get to the top five, I did pull aside 10 bonus cards to share today. We'll start off with this 1986 Don Russ, the Rookies, Bo Jackson rookie, card number 38. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $26.40. For a bonus rookie card of the kid that missed the top 50, we get this 1989 score traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, card number 100T. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $24 even. For a Hall of Famer that missed the top 50, we get this 1989 Topps Craig Biggio rookie card number 49. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $24 even. Up next is this 1984 Topps Ryan Sandberg card number 596. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $21.60. For our fifth bonus card, I ran across this 1986 Don Russ Don Manningly card number 173. This was an SGC 9.5 and it sold for just over $20. Up next is this 1985 Topps Mark McGuire rookie, card number 401. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $19.20. For our seventh bonus card, I found this 1987 Topps Jose Canseco rookie, card number 620. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $19.20. Up next is this 1986 Topps Traded Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 50T. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $16.80. For another bonus card of the kid, we get this 1989 Score Young Superstar Series 2 Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 18. This was in a CGC 9 and it sold for $15.60. And for our 10th and final bonus card, another player that missed the top 50, we get this 1989 Topps Tiffany George Brett, card number 200. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $15.60. And kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1985 Don Russ Roger Clemens Rookie Auto, Card number 273. This was a PSA 10 that was given a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold for $810. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 4, with this 1986 Leaf Fred McGriff rookie, card number 28. This rated rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $900 even. We get one of our weekly regulars at number three with this 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson rookie, card number 482. 
This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $1,800. Coming in at number two is this 1981 Venezuela Winter League stickers featuring Ryan Sandberg with card number 269. This was a PSA 6 and it sold for $3,600. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1982 Topps Traded Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 98T. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $5,400. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.